Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was getting ready to post this on my Instagram, but I have been neglecting YouTube so much lately that I figured I would film a quick video and post it on my YouTube instead. We're still in quarantine mode, guys, so I am still wearing no makeup and leggings. No judgment. <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about Target swimsuits. To give you guys a little bit of backstory, I recently had a baby, if you're new to my channel. I am about eight months postpartum and I still have about 15 to 20 pounds to lose until I am at my pre-baby weight. So 15 to 20 pounds equals about two pant sizes, um, a, a band size for my bra, a cup size for my bra, and about one or two dress sizes, depending on if it's numbered or lettered, like small, medium, large, or four, five, six. And it just is what it is. I'm not upset about it, but I do wanna make sure I dress my body appropriately. Swimsuit season is rolling around and I don't have any swimsuits that fit my current body. So I'm on the hunt. And the most obvious place for me to buy swimsuits is Target. I have worn Target swimsuits on and off since my teenage years, but I've noticed the quality of their suits is declining and I bought a lot. And I wanted to share with you guys why I don't like the ones I bought. Before we hop into the Target suits, which are right there, I wanted to share with you guys what I typically would wear. So this is from Athleta and this was my swim getup um, the year before I got pregnant. So last year I was pregnant, I wore a maternity swimsuit. So this was the year before, this was my wedding year and my honeymoon year. And I pretty much wore this for every single water event. And I also have just regular swim bottoms to match this top, but this is the top I wore. These have a built-in um, like bottom in them, but they're swim shorts. And then this is a rash guard. So because I am so fair, I love to wear long sleeve rash guards. I think it just protects my arms. I don't have to wear sunblock on my arms at least. And so all of these are size small. All of these are from Athleta. I love their rash guards. I love the material. They're kind of stretchy and they also have a little thumb hole in them. So these are the things I picked up from Target, hoping that one of these or some of these would suffice in the meantime until I can either lose the baby weight or until swimsuit season is over. So I bought one rash guard, two one-piece suits, two swim shorts, two tops, and then this underneath here is a swim romper, which is very different. Okay, let's start with the two pieces that I bought in store. So when I was going grocery shopping and trying to find toilet paper, I did grab a couple of swimsuits really quickly on my way out of Target. So the first thing I bought was this swimsuit here, and the second thing I bought were these swim shorts here. My thought was I could put the swim shorts on top of the one piece and like that's a cute little swim outfit, right? This one piece is really cute. It has sleeves, which is just so kind of unique and different. And then the back ties like this at the top. So I thought that was super cute. I grabbed both pieces in a medium and I tried them on at home. I'm not gonna show pictures of me wearing these because it's a little bit embarrassing, you guys, but I didn't realize at the time that this is actually a junior's swimsuit, not a women's swimsuit. So it is completely off for me. It is very small. The leg holes are the kind of leg holes that go up to like here. I could fit in it. I got it on, I tied it, but it just didn't look good. On top of that, my boobs were smushed. Uh, the swim shorts fit well, and I ended up keeping these, and I actually have already worn these in the pool. These are also medium. This brand, Kona Soul, I'm really impressed with. The quality of their swim fabric is actually really nice and thick. So since I bought these swim shorts, I wanted to get a top to match them. I bought two tops online. Everything else was purchased online. So I bought two from this Kona Soul brand. I bought a medium sized top and a large sized top. I wasn't sure which one was gonna fit best. I really wish they had this one in a large, but online all that was left was a medium. So I had to buy it. I had a feeling I was gonna need a large top just because my boobs are a lot bigger now. I love this top. The quality is really, really nice, you guys. It's nice and thick, and I feel like it's going to last a while. It's also really unique. It has, a, there's no tie in the back, so it's just like, it's more secure, I feel like. It's stretchy, but it's not going to untie when you're going down a water slide or something like that. It does tie in the front, and there is a little bit of stretchiness here in the front, but for the most part, it just feels more secure. I can fit in this, but it's just not comfortable. So this will be returned. This top did fit and does look nice. I wish the top straps were adjustable because, because it is a large, it fits the boob area well, 
but the straps seem to be maybe an inch half an inch inch too long which then makes everything look a little bit droopy it's not perfect it's not ideal but it fits and it's that same kona soul brand and for the most part i think i'll be wearing this underneath of a rash guard anyway so it doesn't need to look perfect it just needs to kind of hold the girls in i also bought these swim shorts online and i'm on the fence as to whether or not i want to keep them the reason why i bought them is because they're a little bit bigger than these so these are like a swimsuit bottom they're tight they kind of fit like boy short underwear these fit more like shorts there's pockets which is nice if you need to throw your phone or something in there i'm on the fence these fit they're a medium as well they fit but they're not perfect and the quality isn't great it's more of like windbreaker quality this one piece fit decently um i'm also on the fence as to whether or not i want to keep this one this is that same brand kona soul i really liked their quality so when i was searching for things i specifically tried to buy things that were that kona soul brand i like the print on this i love florals and this design didn't look very grandma-ish to me that's the hard thing with florals is sometimes they can and one pieces especially floral one pieces they can look a little bit matronly but this one didn't um it does have a full coverage behind so it covers your butt it doesn't have the high legs it just has normal legs the bottom fits normally this has a little bit of ruching on it so it kind of hides the tummy and then the top is really nice. This is a size medium. I do kind of wish I would have gotten a large. It fits well in this whole area. It's just the boob area is a little bit on the tight side. I actually might keep this one as well. I'm on the fence. I do think that I can also wear these shorts on top of this or these shorts on top of this. These two things I'm definitely returning. So I did want to buy a rash card to kind of emulate the rash card that I'm used to. Um, this one was expensive. It wasn't cheap. It was almost $40. And this fits awful, you guys. I got a medium. It fits like a small or an extra small. It is so tight, and this fabric is not very stretchy. So because of that, it just doesn't fit well. It is so tight in the arms, and it's really short. It's almost like a crop top, and I just don't love that. I love the Athleta ones because they're nice and long, and I do tend to have a little bit of a longer torso. I didn't love this. This is definitely going back. I think I'm going to end up just buying a medium-sized rash guard from Athleta because I really, really like those. This is the Swim Romper. I was on the fence about this. It fits well. It's a size medium. I'm on the fence because it is pricey um it was forty dollars which isn't a ton especially because you just have to wear the one piece i don't need to wear it with shorts i would like to wear a rash guard but you can't really wear a rash guard with a you know romper type thing i think it's a little too unique of a concept do you know what i mean i've never really been a romper fan to begin with so i think wearing it in a swim setting for the first time probably isn't the best way for me to start liking rompers do you know what i mean but it does fit really nice it has a little bit of padding and it does have a elastic band inside to help support your boobs the medium fit well even though i do have bigger boobs i don't feel like they were bouncing around or anything like that they were very secure the elastic band hit well right on my natural waist and it, it, it overall it fit well but the more i thought about it the more i was like do i really see myself wearing this in a pool okay guys well that is my target swimsuit recap i think i'm gonna stop trying to buy swimsuits from target hey guys future melissa here for you i'm just popping in to let you know that i did end up returning both the shorts and the one piece floral uh, bathing suit i just didn't love them and they weren't ridiculously expensive, but they weren't like super cheap either. They were in the $30 range. So I figured, you know what? If I don't love it, I'm just gonna go ahead and return it. I'd rather put that money towards a swimsuit that I know I'm gonna love and actually wear and feel comfortable in. The only thing I ended up keeping was the little like boy short bottoms and then the striped top. Everything else went back to Target. I have a feeling I'm probably just gonna end up buying some from Athleta, even though they are so expensive. They are my favorite and they do have really good quality suits. So I'll probably end up doing that, but Thank you for everybody who's watching and I hope that you enjoyed and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.